Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great and let's go straight into another Looker Studio tutorial. So as usual, we're going to navigate here to our Looker Studio and today we're going to learn how to create custom metrics. Before we go straight to the point, as usual, please like and subscribe. It really helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance and off we go. So I want to create a custom metric, meaning a metric that is not available in Google Analytics 4. How can I do that? It's extremely easy. So here I have a scorecard. And this is an e-commerce site that I have in the backend in terms of the data source. So let's say I want to create a metric that is called items viewed per session. So how many items, for example, a user viewed per session, right? So this metric is not available in Google Analytics 4. But we can easily create it here in Looker Studio. So we have this scorecard. We are going to go on the right hand side so we select the scorecard we go on the right hand side we click on the metric and then we're going to click on create a field so you can see here it says create a field we're going to click here once we click here first i'm going to name my new metric i'm going to name it items good per session so just an example custom metric and now here in the formula i'm just going to literally insert the formula so what is items view per session is basically the items viewed so i'm going to select the metric items viewed divided by the number of sessions and you need to check here that this is a number you're going to click on apply and here we go this is items viewed per session this is a calculated custom metric a second example so let's say i want to calculate item revenue per session, which is a dollar value, right? So I'm going to insert a scorecard, basically a single metric. And same drill, we're going to go on the right hand side, we're going to click here on create a field, we're going to name this item revenue, for example, per session. And here we are going to simply insert the formula. So we're going to say item revenue divided by sessions. And now we're going to change the number here to currency because this is a currency. We want it to be a dollar value and we want it to be a US dollar value. So we're going to select US dollar. We're going to click apply. And here we go. So we have the item revenue per session here. So with this logic, you can create literally any custom metric that you like. That's how simple it is. You can also do the same thing with graphs and charts for example i have a column chart here right and let's say here i want to see for example month and let's actually do this properly so we have the month in ascending order let's give ourselves for example this year to date and i want to have one of these calculated metrics here right so instead of views i want to see for example item revenue per session by month so same drill here so you're going to click on this table this chart you're going to go on the right hand side you're going to click on metric you're going to click on create a field again here we're going to say items revenue per session and then here i'm going to type in the formula so i have items revenue that I need to find now here from uh, item revenue, it's called. Okay, item revenue divided by sessions. And this is also a currency, and this currency is a dollar value. And now I'm going to apply, and now I have a bar chart with items revenue per session. Bonus tip, if you want also the number to show up here, go to style, and then click here, so data labels. Whenever you have a monthly bar chart or time series, make sure that you also make this 12 because there are 12 months of the year. So you want basically all the months to show up if you are pulling a yearly report. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create a custom metric in Looker Studio. If you like the video and you are able to do it, please subscribe and like. It really helps me tremendously. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.